Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. This wasn't where we finished. We didn't finish by a train, we finished by a ship. Didn't we? Oh, I'm really confused. But, uh, yes, here we are in New Orleans. I believe that's how you say it. Um, what are we doing? Oh, there's a map. Who is the gel, jewel, the gel, jewel seller A? We don't have any information, do we? So, uh, we want to head to the bank? Right, what am I meant to do? We want to head to, the, we want to find the bank, do we? Well, missing some towel. I seen Chinatown. A whole host of different missing people. More people missing here too. Hmm. Fine gemstone. Opals being auctioned at the banking house of E. W. Gray. Yes, which we're already aware of. Our ship leaves tomorrow morning. No room for sightseeing then. Right. Now, this is actually one thing I do quite like, is in the original, there's a kind of, ooh, it's got, ooh, you're very much pointed towards there's something going on in the north of England. Uh, but we've not had that here. So, coming to, coming to New Orleans does actually make a degree of sense. Or at least it doesn't make... It makes more sense, considering this is the only lead we have. Banking House of E.W. Gray. Oh, hello. Mr. Frank Barnaby, right? Auction's about to start. Oh, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Oh, dear. Let's, uh, oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. Well, okay. <clears throat> Things are happening on my other screen, and... Okay, right. Right. Let's observe this fellow. Squints. Probably myopia. Okay, he's got a gun. Okay. Nothing in the shoes. Something in his pocket. Potentially a sandwich. Hidden tabloid newspaper. Abe Lincoln alive in the 90s. Um, while reading Abe Lincoln alive makes the god paranoid full with bad taste. Critical thinker questions everything, even the truth. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, he just happens to have myopia. Um, no, I think if he's reading a tabloid, it's not going to be the critical thinker. Got to work with the stereotype. Uh, do I? Which one do I say I am? Yes, Frank Barnaby. In the flesh. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, hold up. Written invitation first. Can I present another piece of identification? Nope. That's why we send the invitation. Ah. Okay, let me be frank. Holmes, over here. Over where? You're not paying attention. I'm doing another sneaky pretend to be someone else thing. Any luck? None. They're holding an auction, invitation only. The good news is, I know who might have one. We need to find Mr. Barnaby. Who? Frank Barnaby, most likely a local. And do you think Mr. Barnaby will be happy to share his invitation? Let us first find him, then we can see if he is the generous type. Well, let's... Chinatown's right here, and there's already one thing pointing us this way. Which, is that evidence? No. 
Yes. So that does point us this way. How marvelous, Holmes. A city within a city. Indeed, those lanterns are delightful. It is as though we've been transported to the Orient itself. I'm fairly sure there are some in Britain at this point in time, in the 18... Uh, well, no, this is just after setting scholars, so 1880s. I think there's... I think there are some. I think it's Liverpool's... Liverpool's might be the oldest. No idea what language they're speaking. Hmm. Rather unassuming for a jewelry store. Uh, well, we bumped into this place. Damn, he at it again. Barnaby still owes you. If he can't pay in greenbacks, he'll pay in blood. I'm wondering if there's a side thing looking for this fellow, but I don't think so. Locked. No one's here. Right. Okay. Okay. So let's talk to these guys or, or not right okay let's go try and see if we can like go around the back oh oh right <clears throat> one of these hidden gems thank you <laughs> cut through does this get me around to the back of the shop maybe Huh. No. <coughs> oh dear. Yes, it really let me have them. Oh. And there's an organs. Yeah, we thought we were down here. We were down here before. This is where we st this is where we saved. Oh. Ah, the docks are right down there. Okay, so this okay, so fair enough. This this is where we finished last time. Okay. Now let's head back to Chinatown. Um, and maybe that will get us... Maybe we can then look for this sun tile. Someone's crying and is terribly upset. Well, they're making the noise of it. Hmm. Is that you? No. Talk to you. Can't talk to anyone other than Watson. America, Holmes. I never thought I should be so lucky as to visit. Okay. <laughs> We're looking for Barnaby. It's a hotel. Pawn shop. If he needs money, no. Okay. Right, so, but we. Is there something down here, maybe? No. Yes, I can interact with Watson. I'm aware of that. Thank you. Oh, newspaper. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Watson, you've trapped me. 
Truly, a change of scenery does wonders for one's concentration. Get out of the way! Keep going. No. Hang on. Actually, if I go down here, it's just going to trap me. Whoa! Right, Watson's not going to come down here, because that would trap me. And yet, he has trapped me. No. Oh. The people here in New Orleans seem particularly friendly, don't you think? Well, you're here, so clearly not. Clearly there is someone who's not friendly. We better get moving if we want to get to that auction. <sighs> right, so we can't get through there. Is there a way of, like, sending Watson somewhere? No, I don't want to press that. Uh... All right, yes. Oh yeah, that, that's movement. Hmm. Wasn't quite paying attention to the buttons. Um, I can't change clothes here. Right, and there isn't a jump button. Is there a punch Watson button? No. All right, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to fast travel to Chinatown. At least that worked. At least that wasn't terrible. May I ask you something? I don't wish to be rude, but I don't have a clue about this. Oh. Is this familiar to you? I don't wish to oh. be rude, but I don't have a clue about this. Okay. Do these fellows have an idea? Is this familiar to you? Doesn't remind me of anything. Someone else might help you better, sir. Yeah, someone in Chinatown might be useful. Oh. The bank, banking house of E.W. Gray will be hosting a closed auction of black opals. Bank doesn't disclose the origin of the rest stones. However, the bank clerk, Mrs. Zoe Clemens, has confirmed the authenticity of each stone. That was not helpful. Yes. There's a fire running there. Because you know when you think New Orleans, you think... Cold weather. Okay, so. Oh, ask about Frank Barnaby. Could you help me? I'm bone tired, but yeah, I help you. Two gentlemen say Barnaby owes the money. He's known alcoholic and is currently getting drunk at a local bar called the Giddy Gator in the Creole Quarter. Recognised by yellow hat, green jacket. Right. I don't know where that is, but uh, we shall explore. Oh, the Giddy Gator. This place has a Spartan charm, does it not? Eh, it's not Greek. It does. My soul will always yearn for London's gloom, but it reminds me of Cordona in a nice way. Okay, here we go. I assume we're going to nick his clothes. Barnaby, unconscious, but with his eyes open. Banking House of E.W. Gray invites you to participate in a closed auction. Please present a selection of rare and extraordinary black opals for sale. Please contact an employee to receive more information. We strongly urge you to wear the clean suit you have and be sober. One more unacceptable incident, we will exclude you from our list of buyers. Okay. Not the hat. Look, Watson. The two of you are just alike. Then why did the gate? Oh, so I look like a haggard alcoholic. 
Eureka! What have you got? An idea. First, we'll need Mr. Barnaby's clothes. Yes. Wait, we've already we've already been asked about this. Holmes. Watson, time is of the essence. You will go to the bank, not for <coughs> yourself, but as Frank Barnaby. Holmes, we look nothing alike. The hat and coat will do the heavy lifting. Just stay cool, play the part, and no one will notice the difference. Trust me. Holmes, must we really indulge in this farce? It worked in Switzerland, didn't it? Sure, if you redefine the word worked. Also, Watson was being Watson. Not someone else. Ooh, someone's wanted. Okay, uh, Rafa. Okay, Rafa uh, Aronte. I don't know. Where's my cash, Frank? In the bartender's tip jar? Cat doesn't seem to like me either. Where's the money, Barnaby? I'll wait here so as not to arouse suspicion. No, I'll, you, you'll leave it to me. Mr. Barnaby. R right you are. Shop owner. Right. Your invitation, sir? Here you go. You okay, sir? You seem to have the jumps. I, uh, I'm, I, I'm in a rush. Come on. Yeah, they told me to be sober, so I've got the shakes. Oh my, he's got the sh he has got the shakes. Heavens, I never seen Jim so busy. I simply must have Origin Australia weight forty carats, rare stone believed to be a piece of a shattered space rock that fell to earth. Ooh, space rock. Oh. This might be useful. I'll make a note. Banking house of E. W. Gray. Thanks. It's fine philanthropists. Um, H. Armitage Dillard. E. Arneson, French Quarter. J. Atkinson, St. Thomas. R. Carter, French Quarter. B. Chambers, Michelle. S. Clemens, St. Thomas. G. Engel, Fillmore. M. Hartnett, Faubourg, Fa Faubourg Marini. J. Howlett, Lakeview. So we've got we are looking for A's, and we've got we've got a few A's there. No pass. No pass. They're so black, it's like they absorb light. Rather hypnotic. Could you help me? You better ask someone else about that. Oh. Excuse me, just one question. You better ask someone else about that. Someone else, okay. Are you someone else? Morning, sir, and welcome to the E.W. Gray Banking House. The auction will begin shortly. Name's Zoe Clemens, and I'd be delighted to help you. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Clemens. I am Doc... Uh, Frank Barnaby. I do have some questions, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, what's special about the stones? These gems are rather curious. What can you tell me about them? These rare beauties are black opals, all the way from Cooper Petty, South Australia. When they catch the light, the dark stone becomes a brilliant rainbow. It's something special. 